How's it going, everybody? Back with another drink review here today, and this time I'll also be eating some wheat thins. You can see the coffee table in the background there. We we haven't gotten our furniture for the living room. That's coming next week. That was ordered a while back and got shipped here, blah, blah, blah. We do have the pod unloaded, though, which is nice. The coffee table is in there. Obviously, the bonus room, whatever you're calling them, I'm calling it game room. Office, <laughs> um, we're uh, doing all that. Um, that's you know, I got the couch in there. That was an ice slip. The Papa's on chair, obviously the TV, the, the TV stand, etc. But anyway, the drink I'll be reviewing is the Star Spangled Splash. I thought it was Star Spangled Banger or something. I'm hoping this one's better than. Freedom, Freedom Fusion. They, they do this every year, right? Liberty Chill is the third one, which the Food Lion had, but I'm like, I can't grab all three. They also had the, I believe, uh, my ASMR addiction had done a review on it uh, recently. Um, I think she did one recently of the uh, Coconut and Some Cream Dr. Pepper. But yeah. Uh, Star Spangled Splash. This is a uh, red berry with other natural flavors. So let's see how this tastes. Uh, 270 calories. And got uh, the wheat thins. That smells good. That's good. That's definitely better than the other one. It's a, I feel like it's a little similar to Code Red. Which makes sense why I would like it. It tastes like another, I mean, this amount, over time, Mountain Dew start to taste the same. They're using, I feel like, similar flavors. Whatever they're concocting in their laboratories. <laughs> This tastes like other drinks I've had. It absolutely does. Absolutely, it tastes like other shit. <laughs> Not that it's a bad thing, because this tastes uh, really good. Like I said, this is a lot better than that other one, at least for me. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else it tastes like, drink-wise. Like, I've, I've, I've tasted this flavor. It could have just been another Mountain Dew. It's another one that's thirst quenching, I, and, and you know, a nice summer drink, you know. Uh, and like I said, I've said in the past, Mountain Dew's like the only soda. Like I like a lot of sodas, but Mountain Dew's the only one that like a lot of them quench my thirst. It's a very strange. Like if it was a like Gatorade or some shit, even though it's not doing what a Gatorade does. It's definitely. I feel like it's code reddish, but it's. I, I feel like I've had other brand sodas that taste similar to this. I can't think of what, maybe I'm thinking of an energy drink, perhaps. Or I'm just thinking of other cold red, code reds. It almost, I could be way off here, and I haven't had a spark in a while, Mountain Dew Spark. It almost slightly tastes like a spark, too. Mountain Lightning is like the Mountain Dew. I've never had it. But I got the Dr. Thunder, which is literally just a, a weaker Dr. Pepper. Dr. Thunder. It's not bad, though, for a buck a bottle. Like a two-liter bottle. I'm 
I'm gonna go eight five on this one. I like this one. It tastes like other Mountain Dews. I'm thinking Code Red. Maybe a little bit of spark, but I can't. I haven't had a spark in a while. It tastes like another soda too. If anybody knows, I feel like another branded soda. Maybe like a. Uh, Some kind of Fanta, maybe? Fanta. I forget how it's said. I like it though. I'm gonna go 8-5 on it. It's definitely better than the Freedom Fusion. So this is the red one. The other one was the white one. And then the Liberty Shell is the blue. Especially the Mountain Dew selection. Now these you probably could find on Long Island as well. Because they usually pump these out everywhere, these special ones. That come and disappear in like six weeks. But here just, they have Laguna Lemonade still everywhere. Baja Blast is everywhere. They have Voltage, they have Major Melon. I'm talking all the stores combined that I've seen. Code Red Voltage. Um, they have the other one. Point Break Punch, was it called? Maybe that tastes like this. They have the Maui Burst at the Dollar General. I saw, as I said, Major Melon. Major Melon was on Long Island for a bit and then disappeared. And, uh, some, I want to say I saw Spark as well. And Livewire, you can find Livewire too. These are not all in one store, but I'm talking sheets, Dollar General, Walmart, Food Lion. I gotta check this, the, the Speedway for the Infinite Swirl. It's supposed to be exclusive to 7 Eleven and Speedway. Now there's no 7-Elevens, at least, I don't know if there are any in North Carolina, but there's none in this town. That's the one thing Long Island had, 20 7-Elevens every four miles. I've seen a lot of different flavored Doritos here too. They have like a mustard Pringle. I don't know if that's new. Could be everywhere. And Walmart, even the Walmart on Long Island that we went to occasionally. Um, they always have a good selection of Pringles. They have like nine or ten flavors. This 100% tastes like I get another straight up drink. It's almost the same thing. I'm, I feel like I've probably reviewed something like this.
took a picture of the starting lamps that I put on the top of that shelf with the games on it, bookshelf. I gotta put that on Instagram after this video. soundtracks <clears throat> very soon I've got the 10 I had the 8 that I knew and I was trying to really get the last two in there as a ton of ones I had to choose from make a solid crunch.
an A5 on that. It's good. I like it better than the... Once I'll, I review the other one, hopefully I can get it. It's not gone in like a week. I'll, I'll, this one's in first. The Freedom Fusion's in second. see if I think it's a Liberty Chill is the third one. We'll see if that, if I can get a hold of it. Hopefully it's not gone. We'll see if it's better than this one or worse than the other one. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for checking this out and have a good day.